All right, Pisces, let's see what love messages we have for Pisces and the person on your mind. What is going on? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, and Cestus, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. Let's see what messages we have for Pisces and the person on your mind. So you got space. I need more time to think. Destiny, I am struggling to find the right path. Soul tight. I always feel connected to you. And dishonesty, by lying, I ripped us apart. <clears throat> and then mend on the bottom of the deck. I want to fix our connection. All right, Pisces. So someone here that... Um, someone here that you may be on a break from. Um, who could be struggling to find the right path. This may be someone you share a soul tie with, or this is someone who still feels a strong connection to you. There could have been some dishonesty in the connection. <clears throat> someone could have lied that could have, <clears throat> excuse me, ripped you guys apart. We got, I'm so, damn, I'm so attracted to you. I regret lying to you. That is clear. I want you. And I wish things could be different and I feel you even though we are apart. So again, I feel like this is someone you're in separation with Pisces or someone you're at a distance from or, you know, you guys are not together at this time. There definitely could have been some type of lies or dishonesty that could have caused a separation between the two of you. I feel like this person is still attracted to you. Or vice versa. Okay, roles can be reversed. This person still wants you. However, they wish that things could be different. This is someone who definitely still feels a deep connection to you with soul tie. And I feel you even though we are apart. Okay. <clears throat> All right. What else do you want to tell Pisces about this situation? What else do you want to tell Pisces? about the situation. I wish I could take it back. I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. That could be this destiny. I'm struggling to find the right path. Friends or family disapprove of this connection. So there could have been friends or family that came in, in between. Damn, and I love you. Aw. Yeah. Well, someone here still loves you or you still love somebody. Someone does want to mend this situation. I'm planning on reaching out to you. This person may be planning on reaching out to you, Pisces. So let's see what's going on. Oh, I didn't even notice this card. There is so much I want to tell you. So someone may have a lot that they want to talk about. They definitely wish that they could take back time or reverse the situation. But obviously we all know. Can't go back to the past. You can only move forward, right? All right, let's see. So first card out is going to be for Pisces. Overall energy, please. In this situation, what is Pisces? Overall energy. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for the likes. Putting your energy up in here. Up in here. All right, let's see. Pisces, overall energy. Keep in mind, these roles can be reversed. So you're showing up as a king of swords, Pisces. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you could be in this very air, very airy energy, this very um, mind over heart, very logical, diplomatic. You could be very folk. <laughs> okay. You could be very focused on your work at this time. Okay, being organized, staying disciplined, staying structured, okay, working on your craft, working on your skill. You could be a little bit closed off emotionally. I did have, I bury myself in work to forget about you. Where did it go? I just seen I miss you as well. So I bury myself in work to forget about you. This could be you. You may be, you know, putting all your focus into your hobbies, into your work, into some type of a skill set. Um...
Some of you may have a job that requires you to be very clear-minded, very sharp-minded. Some of you guys could be speakers, communicators. I also feel like you're just very organized and disciplined in general at this time. Show me the person on Pisces' mind or the other person in this reading. What's their overall energy, please? Ace of Wands. And the Hermit. Virgo energy. So this could be someone who's also withdrawn, but they still desire some type of a new opportunity. They may be physically starting something new, or they could be reflecting, doing some type of soul searching. Show me Pisces emotions when it comes to this situation. I feel like both of you are like heavily thinking about one another, but maybe not really communicating or talking. I'm like literally getting a head pressure pain, like almost like you guys are like heavily thinking about one another. Show me Pisces emotions. Okay, King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. So, I feel like you're very passionate about either commitment or loyalty. You could be feeling very confident, very resourceful. How's this person feeling in their emotions? So this person, nine of wands, seven of pentacles, this person could be feeling, um, they could be feeling like the wounded warrior, feeling like they've been through some type of a struggle or a battle. They may be even feeling weighed down with responsibilities. Ace of Wands, Nine of Wands is Ten Wands here. We did have I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. You have the Seven of Pentacles here as well. So this person could be waiting. Um, maybe feeling a little bit feeling a little bit of insecurities, or they're just reflecting on some things. Um, all the time, the energy, the seeds that were planted. This person could also be um, I feel like they could be analyzing like what it is that they they want to invest into or what they want to materialize. But they're definitely feeling some type of like almost like isolation feeling tired, wanting something new, wanting a new start, wanting a fresh start, or reflecting on how they can start something new, how they can harvest something new, how they can grow something, how they can materialize a new beginning. How's Pisces moving? Jeez Louise, Pisces, what is up with this? This is crazy. King of Swords, King of Pentacles, King of Cups, Queen of Wands. You got all four, yeah, all four suits out here. So whether you're feminine or masculine, it doesn't matter. I feel like you're very uh, diplomatic. You're showing a lot of strength and fortitude. So this is like divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Someone who's very confident, attractive, loving, caring, nurturing, like the whole fucking package pretty much and you're focused on your work you could be trying to overcome like this is like you showing a lot of strength when it comes to staying in control of your emotions leo energy is here
This is almost like self mastery, straight up. How's this person moving? Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person could be at a distance. Um, it's like they're trying to accomplish something. They're trying to accomplish something that they've been wishing and hoping for. Possibly, again, some type of a new cycle, closing out old cycles. Patiently waiting, investing, working hard, not giving up, taking a step back reflecting on what it is that they desire. This is giving me like the energy of two people who've been like seriously doing doing some work. <laughs> Show me Pisces intentions when it comes to this person. The five of cups. And the four of wands. So five of cups, four of wands, Pisces, you may, you want stability, you want structure, you want home, marriage, possibly a family, maybe even a reconciliation, but there's some type of sadness or disappointment. Um, yeah, there's some type of sadness or disappointment. What is this person's intentions? The four of pentacles. And the moon. This person is still holding back emotionally. Like, This is someone who I feel like they're not ready. They're trying to accomplish something. They're trying to accomplish some type of wish fulfillment for themselves. And they're still holding back when it comes to their emotions. Their sphere. This person could be penny pinching or trying to be conservative or trying to hold on to a situation or hold back. It's like they're keeping something close to their chest. What's that? What's going to be the outcome between these two? I don't even know. Wow, the lovers and the ten of cups came out. <laughs> I'm taking single cards, but I mean, that ain't no coincidence. So it's going to be the damn and the ace of cups. So there is love here. Knight of wands, ace of cups. There is love here, y'all. I love you. You also had that card coming out. The Queen of Pentacles, the Death card. And the Three of Cups. I don't know. Whoever I'm picking up on, y'all may decide to reconcile. Someone may rush in. Possibly wanting to express love. Maybe even talk about commitment. Someone may be coming in wanting some type of change or coming in in a transformed energy, stable, grounded, wanting some type of reconciliation here. Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Star. Queen of Cups, King of Wands. There's a whole lot of court cards showing up. So this is like Queen of Cups, King of Cups, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, Six of Cups. Someone here may want to talk about the past. Someone here could also be trying to like get on somebody's level 
But in order to do that, they needed to like, or at least they feel like they need to, um, like they needed to pull, like they needed space. You had space. I need more time. Show me the Knight of Wands. Show me the Knight of Wands. The Nine of Cups. Yeah, someone's someone's in hot pursuit of their Nine of Cups, of their wish fulfillment. Like I said, someone's trying to accomplish something. This could even be two Pisces energy in the lower arcana. Someone may want a new cycle with you, okay? Or someone could be rushing towards, towards you because they see you as wish fulfillment or you are their wish. Or someone's just in hot pursuit of what, you know, will emotionally fulfill them or you or whatever. Show me, okay. So three of pentacles, this person wants to come in. They want to work together. They want to collaborate. They want to team up and work towards you know, being happy, being fulfilled, being emotionally fulfilled. Someone here may even like, like I said, there could be talks about marriage. Someone's trying to come up with a plan or a strategy here on how to create some type of stability for themselves or for you two. Show me the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Wands, Ace of Wands also, and Five of Pentacles. So this person is definitely like out in the cold or they could be struggling financially or they could be going through something, but it's like they're reflecting on this. They're wanting to start something new. This person could be feeling like, like I said already with the nine of wands, ace of wands, and there goes the 10 of wands. Someone's burdened by, I feel like by, you know, the love, like someone's like feeling like way down, like an immense amount of emotions. And desiring some type of new beginning and feeling like a sense of lack. They're wanting to drop the weight of this and have a new beginning. Queen of Pentacles. King of Swords. So this person may want to, you or this person, hmm, I don't know. Let me see. Show me death. Queen of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. I feel like someone's holding on to your energy or this or... Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. Someone's holding on to your energy, Pisces, or try wanting to hold on to you, wanting to change or transform a situation. Show me the three of cups. For some of y'all, there was someone else involved here. I don't know whether it's friends, siblings, another lover. It could be any. It could be a sister or a friend. Someone's walking away from people. But there's sadness and regret about this. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's almost like someone feels like they've been struggling or there's some type of like struggle or adversity or conflict and they're needing to separate themselves from this. What's this King of Swords? You know, someone too, <sighs> you know, somebody could have lied on somebody as well, telling that so somebody could have. Someone could have lied on someone. Telling somebody that someone was only out for their money or someone was jealous or, you know, mean spirited. And it could have caused a tower or it will. Either that or someone's trying to get away from someone else. I don't know who this someone else is, but I feel like that could be what's hidden here or why someone's been going back and forth or what someone's trying to balance out or be resourceful with or why somebody withdrew. I don't feel like maybe necessarily that you know this, at least it's not showing up in your energy, but there could have been someone here who somebody held in high regard Who somebody is realizing that they lied, that they were just causing delays or wasting someone's time. It's almost like someone's realizing that the root of chaos is coming from another person who they value or someone who they were committed to or someone who they had some type of loyalty or commitment to. And it's like they have to walk away from whoever this person is and they're disappointed in it. It's not like they're disappointed because they have to walk away from this. They're disappointed of the fact of the situation. Like, damn, you disappointed me, you know? And now it's almost like someone's wanting to hold on to you or somebody's wanting to change or transform a situation and they're feeling weighed down by this. Someone here could be stressed out financially. Someone here could have back problems, side note. Whatever someone's going through, I feel like they have, there's an enthusiasm that this love brings. So it's almost like with all else aside, everything going on around the situation, there's one thing that gives me almost like hope, like inspiration. And it's having this connection or having this working together, going towards this, you know, building something, being happy. It's almost like somebody is like, I hate to say it like that, but like somebody's like, someone's like, <sighs> it's almost like something is keeping somebody going through a very difficult time is the thought of an outcome together. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. I don't even know if you know this. Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like you're holding back emotionally. And almost staying, you know, focusing on your, if you have a business, focusing on your business or learning some type of a new skill or a trade or a hobby, staying in control of your emotions. I do feel like you're disappointed in this situation. I know someone here could regret getting involved with family matters or something to that nature or getting family involved in their affairs. Um, anything else? Is this person, what is the secret that this person is holding on to? The Knight of Wands and the Sun that they want to rush towards their happiness and have a reconciliation and have some type of healing and forgiveness. But they may need time to balance something out before coming in and taking action and communicating some type of truth. So I feel like someone does plan on like reaching out, taking some type of action. You did have I plan on reaching out. Yeah, someone someone plans on like coming to someone's home or like having some type of reunion or celebration, but I feel like they're they're not quite telling somebody this. That's what's hidden here. That's the truth that somebody's like keeping close to their chest. I don't know why. But they are. You know, this too could have been like, uh, someone could have been under, like someone's family or friends could have disapproved of something, could have came in and like caused some type of riffraff and maybe this person didn't tell you. Like, I'm gonna give an example and I don't know if it's exactly this, but like, let's say somebody's friends or family was like talking mad shit or saying, you know, you can't be with X, Y, and Z. And then that person just like ghosted you or left you. And then you felt like some type of way, like it was your fault, but you didn't really know the truth as to why that person actually did that. And that's what they're keeping from you is like, that's the reason. But while, while there's a break, it's like, they're trying to separate from whoever the person or people is that disapprove of you so that they can come back around to you without it being a problem. That's what this looks like. So, yeah. All right. Can I get three cards, please, for Pisces and whoever this person is? Single cards, please. You got Law of Attraction. You have been manifesting this relationship. Everything that you want will soon be yours. Stay optimistic and be present. Uh, two more, please. So free yourself just flew out in the reverse. It says you don't need to be in control of everything for a love relationship to be successful. So somebody here may not have freed themselves from whatever, you know, whatever they need to. Or someone doesn't feel like they're in control of something. You got distance. The separation you are experiencing is necessary to help this relationship grow. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave this reading here. If it helped, if it resonated, let me know. Smash that thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.